Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in. You have probably heard the phrase, there is more than one way to skin a cat. Don't worry, no animals are involved here and I do not want to get involved in the politics of dog and cat skinning and eating. What I really mean is that there is more than one way to solve a problem or achieve a goal. When it comes to investing, there is no single right way to approach it. You have multiple strategies and you can choose the one that fits your style and market outlook. That is why we are exploring today different ways to play the same stock using long, short or a mix of both. Right. So in this video, the first video of this series, we will be focusing on the stock Tesla. And those of you who are familiar with Deal Max ETF, you know that Tesla is the underlying stock for Tesla and that's on the long side but if you look better on the down side there's a new etf actually it's not new it was introduced more than six months ago or so it's crsh that's the down side of the crsh or we can you know if you'd like to play we can play both end of it split with the tsly and crush half and half so that is what i'm going to be doing it in this video before that just one request please share subscribe like comment your support is needed there's a lot of effort goes into making this video right i have to do a lot of analysis research to make it simple and easy for you. So rather than you spend your hours and hours of doing calculation and research, I do it for you. Just please support me by subscribing to my channel. Also, you know, as you probably know by now, I'm not a financial analyst. I do not advise you what to sell, what to buy, when to sell, when to buy. I'm a mathematician. What I do is I do just pure mathematical analysis. I take a look at a different scenario, different strategies, and based on that, see, okay, which of these will perform good, this, which one of them underperform, and based on that, you know, I make a decision for myself. And it's up to you, whichever way you want to do it, but I just present one more set of data for you. So let's get started with this. So let's, when you go to the yield max ETF, right, I mean, say, since I will be focusing on Tesla over here, so Tesla has been around for a while, and Tesla is the first yield max ETF that's been around for more than a year and a half or something like that. And the Tesla short side, which is CRSA, short Tesla was actually introduced. Let's take a look at it over here. The fund was started on May 2024, which is like five months ago. So looking at it over here, one, two, three, four, five. Five months of distribution were paid, right? So you have five distribution on that. For the sake of calculation or demonstration on this video, let's use CRS at date. Okay, the first declaration date was June 5. So let's buy Tesla, TSLY, and CRSH just a day before the first declaration date, which is 6-4, right? So first declaration date was 6-5. So I'm going to buy it a day before that and do the calculation for all three of those. So let's take a look at over here, right? So, so what I'm going to do over here, okay, there are four strategies, right? The first strategy is just buy the stock straight forward, okay? So June 4, right? So for the purpose of demonstration, I will be investing $5,000 into that. So let's take a look at it. Let's go to over here. Let's go to, you can go to, let's go to Google over here. Put T-S-L-A. You know what, I think it's better to use uh, over here, the Yahoo. So let's use T-S-L-A. I can use that historical data over here. So if you go to Tesla over here, let's go to historical data, right? Easy to read over here. And you see the date. The price it was open high low and close so if you're looking for the details daily details of any symbol you can just go to yahoo and historical data you will get that detail so let's take a look at the june 4 june 4 tesla closing price was 174.77 so let's take a look over here 174.77 right so since i'm investing five thousand dollars so let's look at five thousand dollar divided by the num this one's so the number of share is 2861. I do know we don't bind it in fraction, but for the sake of demonstration, I will be using the fraction to make it simple and easy. Okay. So on June 4th, we bought 28.61 share of Tesla at a price of $174.77. Now October 4th, which was actually yesterday, what was the price of that? $250.08, right? $258. Right? $258. No, there's no dividend paid on the stock itself. So we did not earn any dividends. Now let's look at it. What's the value of the stock as of today? Which is today's stock price multiplied with the number of share we own, right? $7,154.55. No, we invested $5,000 here, right? And that 5,000 value 
to $7,154.55 per That means if we invested $5,000 on June 4th in Tesla, just buying the Tesla stock, we would have made $2,155, which is a gain of 43%, right? Now, that was our strategy number one, just buying the stock, right? That's what we were doing. Now, let's take a look at the second one, right? So if you go to over here, that's what actually strategy number one was, right? Buy Tesla stock, simple growth, that is it. So if we just buy Tesla stock by itself, we make 43% gain. Now, strategy number two, buy Tesla, right? So let's suppose instead of investing 5,000 in Tesla, we invested $5,000 in Tesla. Let's take a look at it. Tesla. Exactly the same process is step. Let's take a look at the price of Tesla on June 4th. Over here, let's go there. Let's go T-S-L-Y. Over here, going back to the historical data. This is my favorite, right? Historical data. I go to historical data for, okay, where did, okay, T-S-L-Y, historical data. So June 4th, you're going on there, June 4th. The price was $15.15, right? $15.15, right? So if you, invest, if you invested $5,000 on Tesla on June 4, you know, so you bought 330 shares of Tesla. Now, today, October 4, 2024, was the price of Tesla. Let's take a look over here. Today, price is $12.72. $12.72. Now, if you look over here on the yield max ETF, right? If you look at that, the five different distribution were paid every month, right? I mean, June, July, August, September, October. So if you add all this up, I simplified it over here for you. So if you add all this up, June, you got 95 cents, July, you got 82 cents and so on. You had all these for, actually, I'm not, I'm doing this for CRSH, right? If you look at Tesla, Tesla, you got June, July, August, September, this five months. If you add all these one, five months, it add up to $4.53. So what does that mean? That means the total dividend earned is $4.53. If you bought it in Tesla on June 4 at $15.15, right? Now, today closing price was $12.72. $4.53 was earned as a dividend. So if you look at that, $4.53 per share dividend was earned. And the number of shares we have is 3.303. That means $1,495 was earned as a dividend. Now, what's the value of the stock so far? The today value of the stock is $12.72. We own 330 of those. So 4198. So the value of Tesla stock is $4,200. Almost $1,500 was earned as a dividend. The total, if you add both of this, $5,700 around. That was made right. Since we invested $5,000 and its value $5,700 now, so the profit is almost $700, which is like 40%, right? So, so let's take a look over here, right? No. So if you invested in Tesla, in the stock itself, you have gained 43%. Instead of investing that in Tesla, if you would have bought yield max ETF of Tesla, you would have made 14% dividend on that. Right? The gain would be 690. Now let's take a look at the strategy number three. So we already look at the strategy one, strategy two. Let's look at the strategy number three. So we're betting on the downside, which is CRSH, right? So let's look at the CRSH. So if you look at CRSH, the dividend earned for these five months was $4.58. So let's take a look at the, the CRSH. Right? Same practice on June 4th. Let's take a look over here. CRSH, CRSH. Okay, CRSH. Today price is $12.16. And you look at the historical data, June 4th. The price was $20.81. Okay. The price was $20.81 on June 4th. And since we're investing $5,000, so you could have made 200 or you would have bought 240 shares of CRSH, which is the downside of Tesla. Now, today price is $12.16 and we earn $4.58 as a dividend right this year. So what that means, since we made $4.58 dividend per share and we have 240 of those, that means $1,100 was earned as a dividend. Now, what is the value of the stock right now? So if you look at the current price, multiply with what we have is $29.21. So if you add that $29.21, which is the value of the stock with the dividend earned, $1,100, total value is $4,000. Since we invested 5,000, it's only value 4,000 on. It means we lost around $1,000. So what does that mean? That means if you invested in Tesla, the stock itself, the gain would have been 43%. But instead of Tesla, if you invested in yield maturity of Tesla, your gain would have been 14%. But instead of that, you would have, you would have thought that, well, it went up too high. You would have invested in the downside. That you would have lost 20% of the money. So if you look at the first one, strategy one, 
strategy two, strategy three. Now, there are some people who want to play both sides. So you say, you know what? Let me play both sides and see what happened. Instead of investing $5,000 in Tesla or in CRSH, let's spend $2,500 in Tesla and $2,500 in CRSH, and that may balance it out. Is that so? Let's take a look at that. So we already did the calculation for TSLY and, and CRSH, right? So, but instead of make, investing $5,000, I'm investing $2,500 in each one of them, right? So, if, so you know, if I invest $5,000 over here, so my gain would be half of that, which is, so if you take a half of six ninety three, it's like $346. And if you take a half of $977, it's like a, this one, right? So let's take a look at this one. Now, what does that mean? So if you put $2,500 in Tesla, your gain would have been $346.53. That's 13%. If you and also 2500 in because you're trying to play safe half an hour, right? CRSH instead of losing thousand dollars, you lose almost like five hundred dollars. So if you add both of these, you're still in losing money 142 dollars. So let's summarize this. So if you go look at this, right? these are the four strategies we're looking at it and seeing which one really makes the most sense. My goal is to get the maximum return on my investment. So I have this four strategy of Tesla, which is Tesla stock itself, long side Tesla, short side CRSH and then 50-50 spread with Tesla and, and crush. So we look at all four of those and take a look at it and see what those are. So before I go into the, the summary of that, so, you know, I'm also working on NVDY, which I'll be coming to the, the video so very soon. So I hope you subscribe, it, share, like it. So when I release the next video on NVDY and all the yield max uh, ETF associated with that, like, you know, for NV, NVDI, there's a long side is NVDY, short side is the dips. So I'm doing the analysis, you'll find out reasons. Anyway, Going into the summary of that, right? So, I mean, see, we did the four different strategies over here. One, two, three, four. Let's take a look at it. What how does it stack? So strategy one, buy Tesla stock. Simple growth. The gain was 43%. If you instead of buying the stock, you went with yield max ETF Tesla, and you wanted to ride the upside. The gain was only 14%. Well, it's, it's not a bad gain, but as compared to the stock itself, it's not that great, right? Now, if you bet on the downside, instead of you know, and you bought CRSH, you lost 20% of those. 90s. $177, like $1,000. But you want to play safe, you spread it with half and half, that's the both up and down. Even in that case, you lose money. So what does the conclusion of this? You know, the number speak for itself. I'm not going to make any recommendation. I'm not going to tell you what to sell, what to buy. The number speak for yourself. So take a look at this number, do your own calculation, and, and, and make your own decision. Yeah, I, people give me a message that, you know, well, you buy at this time, get out on this time, you know, you buy here, you buy there, you buy in the lows and like, okay, I, I got all those. But if I were that smart that I could pick the stock or the ETF at the lowest price and sell it at the highest price, trust me, I will not be doing this video. I'll be at the beach somewhere enjoying my life. I will be a billionaire by now. Or anyone who can have the guts, or I shouldn't say the guts is probably the wrong word, who has the luck or the ability to pick the bottom and the sell at the high, oh man, you're the luckiest person on the planet Earth. You should be the billionaire. But I am not. So I'm going to go by the strategy and, and see which one of these produce the consistent results. And this is what it is, right? So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, so please share, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you soon with some other video. Thank you so much and have a nice day.